Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have Steve Hopkinson with me uh, from Speakers Momentum Academy. Steve, if you just want to take a few minutes about your experience in real estate. Yeah, thanks, uh, Nicole. Uh, yeah, I've been in, in real estate, in and out of real estate for probably the past, past 10 to 15 years. And uh, it was a pretty uh, cool experience. I did not, uh, I'm going to say I did not find real estate. Real estate found me. Um, I'd been in sales, uh, you know, from the time that I was young and, you know, done a lot of traditional prospecting, door knocking and, and cold calling on the phone. And uh, one of those calls happened to be to an organization that was a commercial real estate company um, of whom I was trying to land an account with. And uh, so I, I, I was a bit of a brickhead and I continued to call and leave messages with the, with the general manager uh, to see if I could get some of their salespeople to come into our gym that I was working at at that time. And uh, he was on a sabbatical. So he did, he realized um, when he came back, uh, he didn't put that he didn't uh, turn his voicemail off or indicate that he was going to be gone for the time that he was gone. So I wound up leaving easily about maybe 15 messages in his, in his voice box. Oh and my so God, finally, 15 so in, a, in a matter of like two weeks or? Uh, this probably would have been probably about over a month and a half. Okay, that's a little better. <laughs> uh, because I just kept getting referred in and I was just going through my calls systematically daily. And he called me and he said, hey, you look, um, you know, we're, we, you know, are you looking to consider some kind of a change? Because I've got a, I've got a real estate team in here, an office leasing team um, that, um, you know, could use your skill set, you know, prospecting on the phone. And you probably could make a lot more money than you're making now, um, you know what I mean? Get a real estate license, that sort of thing. And it was mm -hmm. way beyond my concept at that time. But um, at that time, they saw something that uh, they thought would be beneficial to their team and also beneficial to me in the future, you know, if I decided to take on um, that particular discipline. So I did, um, you know, they, they, they got me with the company in the beginning, first couple of years, which doesn't traditionally happen with a lot of salespeople going into real estate. But the first couple of years, they said, Hey, we just want you to use a phone, continue doing what you were doing. And, uh, you know, we'll pay you a salary and we'll, we'll, we'll get you your license. And, uh, and then after I did that for a couple, two or three years with them, and then I, you know, I eventually went out on my own once I began to figure out, okay, well, this is what real estate really is. This is what it was about. Cause I had no idea coming into the industry. I only knew that I had to get a license to make the phone calls I was making and everything was based on just, um, relationships and probably right. that experience, if anything, uh, taught me that, you know, for all of the different licenses and the certifications and, 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 and all of the things that we need to get with these, uh, governing bodies, um, to stay registered for sometimes we make the mistake of thinking that um, you know that that certification uh, is going to be the thing that helps us get business in the field afterwards at the end of the day it doesn't matter what the product is xyz widgets whatever it's still going to be a contact sport it's going to still be about uh, you know building relationships and being persistent well, that's exactly it, right? It doesn't matter what field you're in. It's about picking up the phone. And look, things happen when you pick up the phone clearly, right? And and these these stories are quite common, actually, right? It's a great story, but they're really common out there. I hear it a lot, yeah. right? Um, that's amazing. And so like being in sales for as long as you've been um, before real estate, after real estate, just in general, like what do you see people doing well? And what do you see out there that you're going, holy smokes, is this really happening? Like, uh, I mean, I come from an age which is before social media. And mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, when I see, you know, think about what people are doing right, I think it's amazing what's happening on social media. It's taken me years to get myself to the point where I would, I would start to use it and use video as a marketing tool. And now I'm seeing... Um, you know, for, through firsthand experience, through, you know, speakers momentum and some other projects, how powerful uh, it really is to use speaking on a social media platform. So, for, you know, for, so for people to be doing this in their business, I think that there's so I think there's more people who are not doing it for their business. It could be mm -hmm. that don't recognize how powerful, how powerful it is for you to be able to develop a relationship with people that, that don't even know you. Because you're, offering, true. because you're offering them value. So that's something that I, and, and the people that are doing it, I see them doing it well, and I'm trying to emulate and, and take myself to the next level and do the same thing. Um, you know, this fall, I'm looking forward to getting just into, into some more, um, offering more real estate information, um, you know, through a new company that, that I'm, that I'm working with. And, uh, 
the idea is to is to is to duplicate some of the success that I see online right now with social media and, and being able to provide quality value information that makes people click and and want to take the next step with me. Um, it's it's true because like you know your videos first of all I love your videos on speakers momentum I told you that before we were doing this right now you. um, you're really good you're very real. And people like that. They feel like they're forming a bond and a relationship with you. So you're selling yourself at the end of the day. And video marketing is like, it's powerful. And I think it just started to increase um, over our pandemic. People had to start doing creative things, um, sure. you know, do things differently and get out there. And, and it really does work. It, it's the way things are being done. And the people who are not doing that there is a there is a definitely a difference people feel that they know you and then you know sometimes you're like you, you get a call from someone and they know you and you're like well who are you i don't even know you but that's they right. know you right like it's really cool when that stuff starts to happen mm -hmm. it's very very cool so i'm glad i'm glad um you mentioned that so tell me a little bit about speakers momentum like why did you start that group and what where are you going with that well i i started speaking in 2006 through Toastmasters and it was that was meant to overcome my fear of public speaking. Uh, I'd, I'd been at that for several years. I'd entered into some speech contests. Uh, I then began to pick up some certifications um, for to do workshops for personalities and other types of products. Uh, one of them was to be, uh, be certified as a speaking coach to help people develop their keynote speeches uh, for their for their business. Um, so that they can use speaking as a marketing tool to grow their business. Because one of the things I'll, I'll just share with you a book that I that I read here from one of my mentors. It's called World Class World Class Speaking. Mm -hmm. And uh, and one of the things that the, that the book um, points out is that if you have a, a person, two people of equal skill working in the same market of equal caliber, um, it's the person that can get up and speak about their business eloquently that is going to be perceived as the leader in the industry. For sure. So when you asked me earlier, you know, what's the biggest challenge? What's the biggest mistake that is being faced in the industry today uh, for salespeople? And that is, um, you know, not working on exclusively working on your speaking skills. I'll, when, you know, I used to use the phone a lot. I used to knock on the door a lot and I did it for a number of years. I remember after joining Toastmasters and spending time going over, over a period of few years, 50, 60 different types of meetings. And then I would be on the phone with my prospects the next day at work. And people would, would compliment me on how I was speaking to them. And mm -hmm. I couldn't see, and I, and I would speak, I'd be, I would say, well, maybe is it, is it just because I'm making a lot of phone calls and I'm sort of brushing away, you know, and I'm getting a little bit more polished. Um, but over time, I began to realize it was the impact that Toastmasters had had on, on my life, giving me that opportunity to actually get in front of live people and trade in fear for confidence. And that confidence now, uh, you know, people want to deal with confident people. Uh, yeah, so, and I can't believe I can't believe you had any issues with um, public speaking whatsoever. I also came in from Toastmasters, by the way. Yeah, I yeah. did that too for a few years, but I would never ever guess like he, the way you just share your experiences just so freely, and that's what people want. They want that connection, and you do that naturally. So people should definitely check that out. Um, yeah, no, I appreciate that. Yeah, you can, if you visit startyou.ca, then it would take you to, that takes you directly to my Facebook page, actually. Say that again slowly, which, what is it? Say that. Uh, startyou.ca is a domain, but that domain just links you straight to my uh, page so that my news feed, and then you can, you know, sign up there for the videos or, okay. uh, um, or Steve speaking 444 on Instagram. Okay. Oh, I didn't know about the Instagram uh, part. That's fantastic. That's great. That's great. So like, before we end off, like, what are you trying? What is your next thing? Like, what is what are you trying to do next? Well, you know, yeah. I, I've been doing a bit of dancing and maneuvering because of the, of the pandemic over the past, you know, two, two and a half years. And now I'm beginning to revisit some opportunities where uh, I was doing some speaking, I was getting onto social media, um, I was beginning to, you know, figure out, you know, what direction I wanted to take a coaching business in. And now, and, and I also had a career in real estate that I wanted to start revisiting again to capitalize on a lot of the opportunities that would allow me to help people. So I've, I'm recognizing an opportunity right now that is going to allow me to bring a lot of that together with the personal devel development, the coaching, the speaking, the training, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, and being in a position to, you know, offer buyers and sellers 
um, you know, expert, um, you know, valued service, but also offering a, an opportunity for real estate agents, either brand new or currently working with an organization that are saying, hey, you know what, I don't want to just be with a company that, uh, that is transaction based, I want to be with a company that's education based and sponsorship based. And, and, and leadership based so that uh, um, I, I can you know, learn faster and, and grow faster through the, you know, through the real estate process. And that could again be for people who are brand new realtors, uh, you know, what, right up to experienced team leaders who are thinking, you know what, I, I, I'd like to try taking a look at a, at a new model um, you know, that could make a, make a significant difference to my bottom line. That's amazing, that's amazing. And you're all about personal growth yeah. and that's what makes you stand out in my opinion. Thank so you. that makes a huge difference out there. So thanks so much. This was fun. Yeah, this is amazing. Thank you. All right.